My name is John Benneth for scienceofhomeopathy.com and this is in this episode uh, of the secrets of homeopathy I'm going to present a world first I'm going to explain in the most understandable terms possible the mechanism the physics of homeopathic medicine. So I'm going to explain to you exactly actually how it works. Now, has everybody had uh, chemistry like um, in school way back when? <laughs> okay, uh, but you do know what H2O is. Okay, and have all of you heard of uh, Einstein? The hull of the shuttle was made of titanium alloy. At the speeds we're talking about, that alloy could depolarize and create a velocity differential. The fuselage would be traveling at a faster rate of speed than the nacelles. That means we just have to set up the depolarization matrix around the fuselage. The material sciences have taken a growing interest in homeopathy and have discovered that homeopathic medicines are full of, you ready for this, nanocrystalloids. These nanocrystalloids are made from extracts of plant, animal, and mineral substances. With a certain vibration. And so we either vibrate with a plant, a mineral, or an animal. Moreover, whenever fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal deplenoration. And these little crystal-like structures transform the background radiation into specific electromagnetic signals that act on a cellular and even a molecular level. And what he discovered is that there are other energetic particles in the universe and they're shaped like little UEs, like little UEs. And what they do is they work by vibration by activization cross-linked with redundant Mellicourt's Ramistat 14 kiloquad interface modules. The dilution and succussion process that is used to make homeopathic medicines creates self-replicating hydrate clathrates. And I took all these chemicals and I encased it in a uh, encased it in a, a you know a bomb. Bomb. Okay. The emergency bypass control of the matter-antimatter integrator is fused. These are crystalloid polymers which appear as nanobubbles that are emitting electromagnetic radiation transformed from the natural background radiation. And tonight, my neighbor lets his dog poop in my yard. Poop in my yard. So I'm going to take this bomb and I'm going to get back at him. The cells of the body pick this up and react to it. What is a cell? You can break down the cells into tiny pieces of energy called electrons, protons, neutrons. The core element is based on an FTL nanoprocessor with 25 bilateral kilolacterals, with 20 of those being slaved into the primary Heisenfram terminal. Now, if you don't know, you should be asking, what are clathrates and how do we know that they're there? What are hydrate clathrates? The transporter chief mentioned a surge of power. The transporter lock might have been affected by the ion storm, and we just materialized somewhere else. Yes, here. Okay, um, if you collapsed all the mass down into the universe, so there was no space between the mass, do you know how much mass there is in the entire universe? You think you're a lot of mass, right? Yeah. I'm a lot of mass, right? This building is a lot Well, the whole universal mass can be consolidated down into the size of a bowling ball. The size of a bowling ball. That's all there is in the whole world, in the universe. So how much mass are you? Because the, uh, uh, by activ activization, the uh, trapped molecules are, that are within them are not bonded to the lattice that surrounds them. Tell me, are you using a polymer-based neural relay to transmit the organic nerve impulses to the central processor of my positronic net? You can almost cross out mass. So the formula ends up being energy equals the speed of light. Well, that's heavy science to me, but I guess it means something to somebody and it sounds pretty good. The pieces of the puzzle didn't fit well together. So God, in his infinite wisdom, sent him a, a, another Einstein called Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. The scientists didn't fall in his camp. Such as the renowned Rustam Roy, head of the material sciences department at the uh, Penn State University. The dilution and succussion process is forming polymorphic nanostructures by activ activization that are or are analog analogous to hydrate clathrates. Well, it, 
It just occurred to me that I could set up a frequency harmonic between the deflector and the shield grid using the warp field generator as a power flow anti-attenuator, and that, of course, naturally created an amplification of the inherent energy output. You know, crystalline cages that look like ice in which a, a small gasified molecule from the seed tincture is trapped to form what are now uh, what they are now calling a nano bubble. Okay, and the way we talk, the way we interact with people, is that's how we are. Okay, so I had a patient that came in and says, I have a... Nano bubbles. These nano bubbles are polymer ice cages made of hydrogen bonded water molecules. It appears to be a highly focused aperture in the space-time continuum. The seed tincture is going from an orthodox molecule to a super molecule of gas in one step of dilation and then collapsing in another, becoming an ever-increasing rarefied gas, eventually becoming a hyperproton. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal veins, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. Guess what the definition of disease is? It's not mass. It's not mass. We have transformed our energy state into something different. That's what the definition of disease is. You, uh, on um, the website. Hey, um, so in a word, what is homeopathy? It is radioactive. And the reason that we know that homeopathic substances are radioactive is because we've recorded it on beta scintillation film. Okay, Stephen Hawking gave us the string theory. Um, every single one of us vibrates. Uh, if I wanted to make a bomb... Go get them, girl! Well, that's what we can do with homeopathy. We take substances, and what we do is we, we pulverize them, and that's how it works. Now, a white hole is the opposite of a black hole. A white hole is where there is an, ab an absence of matter emitting tritium radioactivity. I believe the quantum fissure we discovered is a fixed point across the space-time continuum. Squeaky knee, like a hinge that squeaks diabetes. By activi activization, and don't forget to use the most powerful medicine in the world. It doesn't cost a cent, nickel or dime, just a little of your time. It's called prayer. Yeah, baby. And that's like little Yui's miraculous. It's so exciting. <laughs> Diabetes. 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 Squeaky me. You, uh, on um, the website. Hey, um, my name is John Beneth. Love to all. Thank you.